They say that social media causes high stress levels. So for the next seven days, I will be wearing this watch to find out if this is fact or cat. Being somewhere unfamiliar with the ones I love the most will give me the distractions I need to stay off of my cell phone and not look at any of those nagging notifications. I will be traveling from Florida all the way to the Georgia mountains and spending the next seven days with no social media. On day one, my stress levels were extremely high. We traveled and traveled for four hours straight. And then we stopped at the world's largest gas station where I had the world's best beef brisket sandwich. So we are six hours in and we are not even at the cabin yet. I feel like checking my social media notifications. I just feel like checking my phone. I feel like picking it up and, you know, staring at the screen. After that, we started to see signs that we were in the city of Atlanta, Georgia. And we are here. We're in the mouth. We're at the cabin. There's the door, the entrance. And once we enter that door, no more social media. I haven't been looking at social media anyways, but you guys gotta go pee? Uh, yeah, pee. I gotta pee. Out, go outdoors. There's a whole, there's a whole outdoors. There's a, we're in the woods. Day one was pretty easy. We spent the rest of the day grocery shopping. I played some games with the kids. I saw the spider on the stairs. I cooked up some juicy steaks. All before playing in the creek and then ending the night with the most comfortable sleep I think I've ever had. This is day two and we are headed to Rock City, Georgia. During this experiment, I did my best to stay as busy as possible to keep my mind from all those notifications popping up on my phone every few minutes. Rock City was amazing. They had huge rocks bigger than the size of my house giant crevices that I could barely fit through kind of made me a little claustrophobic they had underground tunnels waterfalls hanging bridges it was so much fun from this point right here you could even see seven different states before we left the cabin that morning I checked my stress level and it was no better than the day before I was still in the red but that was not going to stop me our next adventure was Ruby Falls where we took a creepy elevator 420 feet underground. Yeah, that's right, 420 feet. Walking through caves for 30 minutes straight. Some of which had huge stalagmites and stalag and st stalactites. Yeah, those things. It was really awesome. And then we came across America's largest underground waterfall. Why did I think this would take my stress levels down? <laughs> I don't know. But apparently it worked because the next day, my stress was all the way down in the green. This is day three, and so far, I have no urges to check social media. Usually, I literally check all my social media as soon as I wake up every morning. Yeah, I know, it's a problem. According to a poll I did on my channel, a lot of you, a lot of my subscribers, a lot of people out there in general, do this very same thing. I put my phone on the charger all day because I still wanted that temptation of my notifications popping up. But for some reason, my phone was haunting me. What in the Georgia mountains? I thought I just plugged you in. I think after this, I think after this experiment, I am definitely going to check social media a lot less. Um, I'm gonna focus more on telling the story, creating the videos, editing the videos for you guys. If you're enjoying this video, if you like my videos at all, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you put a subscribe down below, turn notifications on so that you can get notified every time I put up a new video, because I promise you I will be doing my best to make the very best content that I can. I have so many ideas and I just haven't been doing them because I'm running two businesses at home. I, I can do it, obviously I've been doing it, but it's getting to be where I wish I wasn't running two businesses. And uh, obviously I, I like the money, I like making money, but what I truly have a passion for is making videos, editing videos. Um, creating something that is uh, beautiful and making a story out of it. Day four, we spent all day at the Atlanta Zoo. Watching these animals in their cages and their habitats made me realize that's how I feel when I'm on social media and the internet. I'm in the World Wide Web cage and zombie-ness. 
But I want to be more like this crawl dad that I found in the stream. I named him George because, you know, he's from Georgia. And he became my new best friend and a symbol to freedom everywhere away from social media and the internet. Day five, we visited the aquarium where I did some more reflecting and realized that humans are no different from these fish living their lives in cages only to view the outside world through a piece of glass. Separated by other species, while the fish with the most teeth swim at the top, I asked myself at that moment, is this the life for me? Ask yourself, is this the life for you? And what are you going to do about it? What are you willing to do about it? Doing this experiment seven days with no social media has made me realize how much time I spend on social media. Hours and hours of looking through TikToks and watching YouTube videos, some of which are very informational and help me out in life, um, but most of which are just for entertainment purposes and to distract me from what's really around me in life. So, uh, day five, I've realized that it is very good for me um, to stay off social media, but also very, very hard for me. So I think just the fact that you own social media, period, is going to make you more stressed out than a person, say, that has never created a Facebook or a YouTube account or any account online. Those people probably are truly less stressed and maybe more happy. Day six, my stress level was all the way down. Hallelujah. But my phone, it just kept haunting me. What the crap? How did this get here? Babe, did you put my phone on the table? No. Day seven of not looking at my cell phone, notifications, social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. Um, this is the final test, guys. That's a slug. There's a slug on the ground. Sluggy, sluggy, sluggy. So this is the final test. I'm gonna do one final stress test on my watch. Will you truly be less stressed without looking at social media or being on social media for seven days in a row or any amount of time? Okay, I hope you like and subscribe, watch this video and this video, we'll see you next time.